Hello there, this is Biker Hippo and my first bike review. I've had my bike now nearly eight months and I would like to do a quick review on it. Okay, so first of all, there's the helmet I wear, open face with goggles and a mask. The mask keeps the flies off, finds comes in very handy. Uh, before I had the mask I swallowed a few flies. Uh, there's my gloves and there's my camera waterproof case. Right, let's talk about the bike. Um, basically, I'm 53 years old, used to ride motorbikes when I was younger, wanted to get back into them. On my bucket list, I would like to do uh, Route 66, not all of it, but parts of it, on a, a nice big bike. So I plan to pass my bike test. I want to do a direct access in the next year. Before then, me and my friend decided to practice and learn on 125s. So we end up getting new bikes, and I've gone for the Sinis Hoodlum. Being a big guy, I'm 53 and I'm <laughs> yeah, old and big. I'm 53 years old and I weigh about 20 stone. So 1 to 5, the power to weight ratio isn't very good. However, the bike doesn't look like a 1 to 5. It looks much bigger. Um, but a lot of it is basically plastic. Um, a lot of plastic here. Uh, plastic on the, uh, on the horns. But from a distance, it doesn't look like plastic, it looks like engine, uh, so it makes it look bigger. <laughs> right, a little bit of spec on the bike. Um, like I said, it's a 125, in fact, it's a 124cc. It's four stroke, um, air cooled, and it's fuel injected overhead camshaft. The power is about 11 brake horsepower, which is 8 kilowatts, and it's five speed um, manual clutch. Nice size fuel tank, 13 and a half litres. Um, it weighs nearly the same weight as me, it weighs 140 kilos. Seat height is about 730, um, so ideal cruiser height. Uh, it is very, well for me, very nice riding position. You can see there the foot rests and the front brake, all kind of the old cruiser style. And you can see on the other side, uh, gear selector and the left foot rest, very comfortable. Um, obviously it's got pillions, but uh, being a lower than a 125, I not, won't be taking any passengers, and, um, especially on the 125. Uh, right, a little bit more about the bike. Um, as you can see, it's a um, analog and digital display. Uh, the top part, the bigger part is KPH. The bottom part, which you can read quite easily, is miles per hour. Uh, the digital side tells you your fuel, and it also warns you when you need maintenance surfacing. You can free see the front uh, telescopic uh, forks. Um, they're not upside down; they're the old style, um, and they're fine. Um, I do find they go down quite a long way when I get on, and the cables move a lot when I get on. But that's down to my weight. Um, the back ones, as you can see, um, are twin coil sprung and adjustable. You can see the adjuster there, so they're adjustable. Um, it's got on the side stand. It's got an automatic cut off. Um, which is here, <coughs> so that will cut off when you have the side stand on. I've got obviously the full stand on moment, which is very handy, especially if you're working on the vehicle. Um, you can see at the front, it's a triple piston caliper on the front. Uh, disc obviously breaks, and on the back, they on the older models they used to have drum. These are also disc now, same as the front. What you'll find is on the back brake, it does not just affect the, obviously through the back brake, it also is linked to the front brake. So I think it's approximately about 30% of the front brake comes on as well, which I do find is very good, very useful. Right, uh, front tyres are 90 wide, so you can see for a 125 Cruiser, it doesn't look teeny, uh, especially on the back, because the backs are 130. So on the back, not a bad size for a 125, that's 130 rear. Um, handlebar width, quite wide, is uh, 100, sorry, 890, so <laughs> just under a metre. Right, a little bit more about the bike. Um, electric start, no kick start on it, it's all electric here. Okay, um, that's the automatic cut off, be careful that you don't accidentally turn it off and not realise because the bike won't start. 
Um, they say it does over 100 miles per gallon. I've been getting about 75, which to be honest is, isn't bad. Uh, they say it's uh, unrestricted, it can do 65. I've actually got it up to 65. Uh, where you're allowed on the national speed limit dual carriageway um, whether that clock's accurate or not I don't know um, right that's a little bit about the bike I'm not going to really tell you much more um, thanks very much for listening bye bye